So today I'm looking at this is an antique screwdriver. In the antique stores you can find these all over the place. Just a big old flathead. The tips, you know, worn from use, but it's not damaged. The shank on these are usually pretty beat. This one's not beat at all. The back, usually you see wear from somebody hitting that thing with a hammer. So the only thing I see wrong with this one is that uh, the handle scales have the shakes. So I'm going to try to get these scales off. And if I can get them off in one piece, then... Uh, that's going to make my life pretty damn simple. But I'm going to try to pry these off and get something a little more fitting to a custom tool replace, handle replacement, you know. Um, this stuff here is a collection of the little cutoffs that I buy when I go to the lumber store. So anytime I walk in the lumber store, I hit their cutoff bins. Any of the small pieces, they they try to sell small pieces of highly figured stuff for relatively inexpensive prices. But again, anytime I go in there, I try to walk out with at least one piece of highly figured cut off or turning blank, something small, inexpensive. So that over time, this isn't everything I have, but over time I have at least somewhat of a collection of stuff without spending a ton of money all at once. So it's kind of like the concept of never walk into a hardware store without buying at least one clamp. And then, because clamps being as expensive as they are, you get tons and tons of clamps without paying, you know, the thousands of dollars up front. So anyway, I'm going to pick one of those pieces to replace these scales with. But first, I want to get these off in one piece so that I can use these as templates. Let me start just by seeing if I can pry these off. These are angled out on both ends, so I'll need to measure that angle, that angle with my uh, doohickey here. That's coming in right at 57 degrees. So I'll take a few measurements, um, get the blanks cut, and make sure that they'll fit here the way I want them to.
Now, this has little angles in here. I'm not sure what to call that. It's got a little angle in there that digs into the wood, help keep it from shifting. Tap this to get those grooves in. Then we're going to put this one on. And we're going to clamp this up really force those down in there So that didn't work out quite the way I thought it would. Um, so yeah, the brass rods are just bending. So um, yeah, we're gonna let that set up for about an hour. <laughs> well, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. We're letting that set up overnight. Because it's starting to get a little late anyway. And we'll get back to this tomorrow. Alright, so, you know, we just did this repair to this thing. So I'm going to slide this in here to take any drips. So I don't want uh, this, you know, it finally got it working. I don't want to drip epoxy all over it. So, Alright, so I think that got it whooped. So now I'm going to uh, get the old dust mask on, crank up the grind grinder with a new uh, with a new belt on it, and uh, start wearing this thing out. So that's going to take a minute. So uh, I guess we'll start a quick grinding montage and uh, cue up the royalty free music.
right, guys, so that last step of uh, polishing wasn't so much to actually bring a shine to the shank, but the, uh, the compounds that, those uh, abrasive grit compounds, those are basically embedded in wax, really, really soft like waxes and stuff. And so a lot of times when you guys see me doing this polishing thing on rough steel, I'm not trying to make it shine as much as I'm trying to force wax down into the crevices and it makes it slick at the same time so again it's more about getting protecting the metal than anything, than uh, anything else when i'm not trying to put a high shine on it but either way let's see if we can get that to focus this thing turned out pretty nice comfy i got really close to the same shape as the original scales they're not dead on perfect but I mean you know what on my channel ever has been either way this is money well spent I think I'm gonna enjoy this screwdriver for a while you never know when you're gonna need a big screwdriver <laughs> uh, the guy that would have got that joke probably did not even watch my channel so <laughs> Anyway, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you on the next one.